Hola. Hola, tengo hipo, Gordon. ¿Tienes hipo? Sí. Oh, oh. Ok, vamos a... Sí, <risa> o con hiccups. Sin o con hipo. <risa> Lightspeed Spanish, uh, podcast. <risa> Lo siento. Podcast number 39. 39. And this is for Early Intermediate. And today we're talking about a really, really interesting and, and a confusing topic, which is when do you use mi DC and when do you use yo, tú, and él? No sabía. Hasta hoy es que aquí me Pero no ha funcionado. No ha funcionado. <risa> ok. Vale. Eh, Cintia. Dime. Rapidito. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué muy tal bien, con muy tu bien. hipo? Muy bien. Bueno, el hipo. Mal, ahí. ¿no? Dando por saco. <risa> sí. Ah, ¿Y qué significa esa expresión? Dando por saco. Annoy me. En, para no decir. Eh, o por no decir culo. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Es para no decir o por no decir? Para no decir. Para no decir. ¿Existe por no decir? Sí. ¿Qué significa? Por no decir esto, dije esto. Ajá. Y para no decir, en order not to say it. Sí. Entonces, ¿cuál es correcto? Para no decir culo, digo saco. O por no decir... No, por no decir es different, I... Because I didn't want... I didn't want to say... Don't make me talk with the hiccups. Because I didn't want to say this, I ended up saying that. Por no decir que no quería, dije que sí. O por no ofenderle, vale. dije... So as not to. As not to. So as not to, por no decir. Right? So as not to say that. Or in order to not to say that. Ok. Vale. Mm, sutil, ¿eh? Vale. Sutil. 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 Gracias. De nada. <laughs> vale, entonces, mi, ti, si... La amo. Eh... Ok, so... We've got me, T, C, O, yo, tú, and él. When do we use? Because me means me. And yo also means me. And I. I, I as well, yes. But it can be me, okay? So when do we use one and when do we use the other? Simple. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. Easier than in English. Yeah. The rule is simple. All that happens is this. If you want to say me after you have said a preposition. What's a preposition? And let me finish my sentence, then we'll come to the preposition. Then it becomes me after a preposition. If it isn't preceded by a preposition, you use Joe. Okay? So, what is a preposition? Cynthia, with your hippo. You give us a list of the prepositions that you learned at school. A, ante, bajo, cabe, con, contra, de, de, desde, en, entre, hacia, hasta, para, por, según, sin, so, sobre, tras. Okay. So those words, what are the prepositions, the prepositions? For, to, by, with, without, yeah. at, from, mm, those ones, yeah. in, inside, yeah. out, under, under, of. So what, what, I know we mentioned this, I think, recently, but the word preposition, okay, preposition is really the true word because, because all prepositions should come before the question word, okay, but we in English, we tend to finish sentences with prepositions, but really the original rule is that they have a preposition in the sentence. Before the okay. noun, before the, the verb. Yeah. All right. Before, so okay. in Spanish, they always have a preposition. So what, when you get... Oh, what, okay. Let me give you some examples. So where have we seen me used with gustar? When you say, a mi me gusta. You have to say, you can never say a yo. And me is spelled with an I. Because lots of people, because in English you say me with M-E, They think that's how we spell it. Yeah, M E. Yeah. And it's M I. If it's M E, it's me. As in the month. Me, me. Yeah. Okay. So. As in the month. As in the month of May. That's how okay. you pronounce it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we've got. Don't confuse me. Now, um, we've got a me. Okay. 
para mí, por mí, de sin mí. mí, de mí. Okay? The only one that's a little bit weird is con. Con. Yeah? Because then it becomes... Conmigo. Conmigo. And okay? contigo. Y contigo. But apart from that, it's just pretty basic. You know, preposition, me, ti, and si. Si. What's going on with si, Cynthia? Because that's... It's him. It's him, yeah? Okay. So, um, uh, but if you were going to say without him, sin, sin él, sin él, you wouldn't say sin si, no. no, sin él. So can you give us some examples of? Because uh, basically, what I hear is that I hear that yeah, um, sin me, but, sin okay. ti, you can use it always, with para, always, yeah, por, mm -hmm. for example, he did it by himself. Perdón. Lo hizo por sí mismo. Okay. What would happen if you just said por sí? Lo hizo por sí. I would say por sí mismo. Sounds mm -hmm. like I have to say mismo. Lo hizo por sí. No, por sí mismo. Okay. I think. Yeah. And how would you say lo hizo él mismo? O para sí. Él hablaba para sí. O para sí mismo. Okay. He's, he spoke to himself. Okay. What about if I said, um, lo hizo él mismo? Madre mía. Lo hizo él mismo. What was the question, sorry? What would happen if I said, he did it él mismo? Lo, lo hizo, hizo él mismo. What would happen? I don't know. I don't Is know it okay? It. Yes. So, why have we had to say, sí si por sí mismo? Because we've used por. Hang on. Por, lo hace... El mismo, that doesn't have a preposition. I know. Por sí mismo has a preposition. So, so I'm saying the same thing, yes? But because I'm not putting a preposition, I use el. Exactly. Yeah? yeah. That's what I'm trying to demonstrate. Okay. Whereas I'm when really you say confused there. por sí mismo, so. Yes. But be careful with sí. We'll, we'll put more information in the, in the help sheets about how you use sí because it isn't quite as frequently used as mi ti. Yes. Okay? Bear in mind, the me has an accent, tilde on the I, the T doesn't. Has not. The academy accent. took it off. So if you look at old Years books. Years ago. Look at old books, you'll still see an accent on the T. Very, very old print books. Really, really old books. Yeah. Uh, maybe the 50s. Yeah. But, but the academy took it's it off. not anymore. As the academy's so, so it does. Every year, removing things. Not adding things, removing them. They are the removers. <laughs> of the Spanish language. Okay. Okay. So, um, so for every preposition, what about this one? What does this mean? Um, de por sí. By itself. Mm -hmm. By itself? And can, uh, also I hear... De por sí es algo muy interesante. It's something very interesting by itself. On its own. No, on its own. It's like in and of itself. That's how okay. we would say it. Yeah. Um, in itself, I think that's how we say it. De por sí es difícil. Yeah. Like, as it's it difficult is. in itself. As it, it is. Yeah. As it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. As it is. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. Um, so, let's see if we can play, play around with making a sentence that has a preposition in where we're going to use me and then see if we can do it without putting a preposition in. Okay. Okay. Why would you do that? Just to see the difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Ready. All right. So, let me think of a sentence. And uh, everyone that's coming to my mind now, or I'm thinking there's no way you can say that without a preposition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see that. Um, okay. So. Why would you want to say without a preposition? Just to see the difference. For example, that sentence, that, that, that sentence interests me where I said, eh, lo hizo el mismo, or, Lo hizo por sí mismo. Mm -hmm. Just interesting that you can do it two ways. But it's different though, it has a, like a different connotation. Lo hizo el mismo, he did it himself. Mm -hmm. Lo hizo por sí mismo, he did it by himself. It's different, isn't it? It's more like an achievement by himself. Okay, rather than himself. He yeah, he did it himself. It's a very subtle difference, isn't it? Do you like, do you like these... Um, Pasta, I made it myself. Okay. 
Pause. If you say, lo ha hecho por mí mismo. I don't know, it's more, it's more like achievement. On his own. Like, he did it himself. Yeah. He did it, yeah. Of his own volition. Yeah. Of no, his own? No. That means like, I, know, I just willings. thought about that yeah. and then, no, it's mm, not the same. Okay, uh, okay. Look, the time's over now. Yes. We've hit the end of, end of the thing. I want to do some examples, but probably just as well that we did because yes, I couldn't think of any. Yes, it would be confusing. And it, I'm not sure <laughs> that there would be any point in doing that, as Cynthia rightly pointed out to me. Muchas gracias por eso, Cynthia. De nada. Okay, entonces, so that's the simple rule. Remember, if, it, if it's followed by a preposition, you're going to use me or ti. Okay? And if there's no preposition, yo, tú. Eso es. All right? But we'll do lots of examples and we'll give you lots of uh, sentences to create in the help sheets. Bueno, Cindia, muchísimas gracias. Ha durado todo el podcast, el hipo. Lo siento. Ahora ha terminado, creo. Ha ¿Sí? terminado. Mi... Vamos no, a ver. Ha terminado. Ok, entonces, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.